And we've got a uh, codicule, which I've started to build a heavy slurry. I'm not going to reset the bevel because under the loop, the bevel looks pretty good. But I am going to uh, give it a pretty heavy duty honing. And I thought I'd do a quick video um, through this. I'll probably speed through the majority of it uh, so you can see it without having to sit there for 35 minutes. But as you can see with the codicule, I use the Dillicott method. So with the codicule, Basically, I just literally make a almost a mud. And then I'll usually do 10 to 15 strokes per side. Uh, and then, you know, see how the burr is and then go from there. So that's how I make the slurry uh, for, for that. And then, of course, I'll spray the blade with water. And then pretty much go to town. And then for this, basically, I just actually just dilute every single time down till water. And then I'll go to the Black Arkansas. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for this to start turning kind of a grayish color to uh, annotate that I'm taking metal off. But the Inoxes are traditionally very, very hard blades. And what I'll do to dilute is I'll literally just leave all the mud on there and usually give two sprays and then start the process again. And if you notice over on this edge, you're starting to see the water turn gray. And I'm also looking for a little bit of, not so much stick at this point, but a little bit of undercut to show me that the geometry and the blade's working right. That's why I use a two-handed method for most of it. So I'll go ahead and repeat this until I'm down to clear water and um, we'll go ahead and come back at that point 
and uh, go to the arc and show you how we do the arc progression. Okay, we're just about done with the uh, with this part of the arc. Then we're going to switch over to running water uh, until it sticks. And um, so far, the edge is coming along fine. And then we'll move to the uh, the black Arkansas. You could do a trans arc, a uh, translucent Arkansas, but I like the feeling of the black arc. Now, if you notice, um, I'm not quite at clear, probably two more dilutions, but if you notice that the water is riding up on the blade, somebody had asked me about undercut, and that's what I mean by undercut, is the, the water is being pushed up on the blade, so therefore the blade edge is almost to the point where it can't go any further on the cauticle. And also what it shows me is it shows me any areas where the blade may not be even because the water should be coming across as a fairly quick, fairly evenly. And that'll also kind of tip you off on any geometry issues as well as, and whether or not your stone is flat. Okay, so this will be, what I usually do for the final one is I'll wipe off the cauticle and then wipe off the blade and then just do about 20 laps very light on just pure water and then I'll move over to the sink and uh, do it under running water so we'll be back in just a bit to show you that rather than moving over to the sink what I'm going to do is just keep a constant spray of water as I'm honing this which is really the same thing as running water and what you'll notice is I'm doing very light pressure and I'm waiting for the blade to stick and it's already starting to stick. You can actually see it because I'm literally putting no pressure, but you can see it's starting to chatter across the cauticle. And it's sticking really nice now, but I'll try to wait for that final stick when it really starts where I have to almost put pressure on it to move through the water and that's getting to that point now and there it is okay so what we'll do is we'll pause here for a second i'll get the black arc set up and we'll go from there okay everybody we're back unfortunately i figured out that i did not have any dan's honing solution but a gold alternative that is Dawn dishwashing liquid. So I'll take just a smattering of that because it does provide a very slick medium. And then we'll actually dilicot from this, uh, or actually I should say arcucot, uh, down to water only. And the same thing, usually about 10, 10 strokes. And it's already starting to even stick a little bit on this, which is nice. The only thing you have to be careful about with the Dawn dishwashing liquid is it's very, very slippery. Uh, even more so than the, uh, the Dan's. I may have to raise that up just a little bit. And the soap works fine. I mean, it actually is very slick, but, and it also gives me a better idea of the undercut as well, because you can actually see the soap rising up on the blade and where it's sticking and where it's not sticking. Yeah, and she's already sticking pretty well to those. There is a little bit more viscosity in the um, in the soap because it's a cleanser, but just like you know the old days when you used to kind of do it with shaving soap, it works about the same way. So now I'm just basically refining the edge, and uh, I'll go through this process till I get down to clear water, and then we'll actually put it under. Uh, running water in this case just keeps spraying it constantly so we will go ahead and continue that and we'll be back at the end 
as you can see, we had our final uh, spray for the Dillacott before moving to water. And if you notice, you can actually see the uh, solution climbing up the blade, which is exactly what I want. It's not sticking yet because there's still too much um, slickness and lubrication from the detergent. But if you notice that the water is almost falling over the top of the blade, which means that it's getting close to you know meeting that edge that uh, that we want. Trust me, I know watching honing videos are uh, about like watching uh, tumbleweeds go across the desert, but at least it gives you an idea. And I'm already starting to get some stick. And towards the end, I'll just do it very lightly. I'm putting no pressure on any part of the blade and it's starting to, to stick. Okay, we'll go ahead and clean the, clean the arc off and we'll be back for the final hone. Okay, again, we're just gonna be spraying water just because it's just easier for the video to show what we're doing. And what we're waiting is for that stick and then we'll take it to the strop and then we'll shave with it. And I'm already starting to get it. And usually this doesn't take more than 10 to 15 uh, strokes before I can get it to stick right to the, to the arc. And there it goes. And you want it to stick with the lightest of pressure, and then what I'll do is I'll usually flood. Yeah, there it is. Because you start to get that squeak. Okay, she's there. And then I'll spray one thing of water, and then I'll just go and hold the blade in three sections just to make sure that I'm still getting that resistance all the way across. And even if there is a little bit of soap, uh, you're fine. But you'll start to get that, that sticking. Well, probably a little bit more. And there it is. Okay, that's it, folks. We'll go ahead and strop it, and we'll do a shave later. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Mm -hmm.